trial for Leland Huss. The man accused of raping and killing a six-year-old Rio Rancho girl continued today. News 13 Stephanie Chavez is here with a look at today's testimony. Stephanie. Jess, the state called a field investigator with OMI to the stand this morning to talk about what he saw when he arrived on scene that August morning in 2018. It depicts an overall view of the decedent uh, laying mostly supine on the floor of the residence. Okay. Um, this was the position that was she was in when I arrived on scene. Okay. And what about photo 13? Uh, Photo 13 is the lower extremities, specifically related to the vaginal area of the decedent, um, showing possible trauma and blood. Frank Tomlinson says when he arrived on the scene, all he knew was that a child had been found dead under suspicious circumstances. The state showed Tomlinson pictures he had taken of six-year-old Ariana Jade Romeo's body, the way it was found at the scene. Hust, who was 21 at the time, lived at the Rio Rancho home with the girl, her mother, and at least six other people. Prosecutors say Hust was the last person to see Ariana alive. Today, our cameras caught Hust crying and turning away from those crime scene photos. Tomlinson says it didn't take long to determine Romeo had likely been strangled and suffered from injuries that were consistent with rape. Speculation that was later confirmed by the state's medical examiner. Based on my training, uh, around her eyes, upper shoulders, neck area, um, there was what I believe to be TKI, TKI hemorrhages. They're basically pinpoint, it's, it's where the uh, blood and capillaries burst, uh, getting pressure from being strangled or suffocated, and they leave little dots throughout, mostly the eyes, the underneath the lips. The pathologist who examined Romeo's body and one of the state police officers who responded to the scene that day also testified. We asked if Hust will be taking the stand. His defense says he will testify after the prosecution rests. Back to you. All right, thank you, Stephanie. This is day two of the trial. The judge says he expects it to take about seven to ten days. The Johnson.